Beloved community. It is in beloved community where our consciousness ascends to the level that we realize, as Dr. King stressed, that we're all bound together in a fabric of mutuality where I'm concerned about your concerns and you're concerned about my concern and where I rejoice when you rejoice and weep when you weep, beloved community. This is the potential as we grow into not just the superficial contours of beloved community, but we grow on into it. You know, Dr. King used the concept of beloved community as a way of paraphrasing what Jesus called the kingdom of God. When we understand beloved community this way, it helps us to understand on a deeper level the powerful prayer of our Lord. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth, in Knoxville, in Greensboro, on the ugly street in this city, thy kingdom come, thy will be done as it is in heaven. With this understanding, we can appreciate even more Jesus' challenge to all of us to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all the other things you have need of will be yours as well. I want to paraphrase this and seek first the love community where everybody loves everybody, everybody cooperates with everyone else and we inspire each other and there will be a homelessness. There will be an employment that God the resources to be the kinds of community that God has called us to. And so in accordance with your theme, I want to humbly sketch out from my limited understanding some of the basic and essential features in the quest for beloved community. First, beloved community is an ultra-inclusive concept. There are no insiders and no outsiders. All are included. All are respected. And the dignity and worth of all are affirmed by individuals, by institutions, and by systems. And no matter what point in history we find ourselves, no matter what particular circumstances exist, the value of inclusiveness is basic to realizing beloved community. You know, people always look out for those who are close to them. Yeah. Yeah. And it can be your family, it can be your neighborhood, it can be your race, but somewhere I read that God is the father of all of us. Yeah. And that we are all brothers and sisters. Beloved community is an inclusive concept. The second feature of beloved community that I want to lift up is particular to this period. Uh, it has to do with economics. It involves providing sufficient goods and services to satisfy the needs of a community, a city, and indeed a nation. It has to do with moderation. It has to do with some having too much while others don't have enough. You know, people think there is no political economy in the Bible. But you ought to read chapter 16 of Exodus, uh, where manna rained down from heaven. And the instructions were to go pick up the manna. Those who need much, take much. Those who need little, take little. And the notion here is that sometimes you can get too much, and other times you can get too little. So I think we have to build an economy around enoughness. After a while, we have to say, that is enough. You don't need any more somebody else on the house of I don't know how you do it, but that's what it means to build the Lord's community. The third and final feature of beloved community that I want to raise is the importance of restorative justice and reconciliation. <clears throat> Inherent in my notion of reconciliation is forgiveness and healing. If you can't forgive, the community cannot be healed. 